So how do you fall in love with being alive in a time that really challenges you to, to just get by emotionally and physically and spiritually and so on? And the answer seems to be that if you're lucky enough to catch a serious, real glimpse of the end of your days, this seems to be the beginning of your ability to start being crazy about it instead of feeling crazy. Start loving it instead of, you know, coping. Start um, saying amen instead of good enough. I think we're not doing therapy. We're not fixing people. We're not presuming that there's anything wrong with people. What we're going to do here is make something that's live, not something that's staged. So we don't know exactly what's going to happen. The people I am lucky enough to work with, they they're willing to give their time to the world and learn how to do that, rather than trying to hold on to their time as long as they can and let the world fend for itself. It won't be the final word on anything, but it'll certainly be the best possible version of us in those three days that we could have ever thought of. In so doing, there might be something that's translatable for people who weren't there and, and didn't see that. So this can come to them as one example of human beings wrestling some of the great mysteries and the mystery winning. <laughs>